Guys, what's going on? It's Versa here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. And you saw in the thumbnail and in front of you and I, we have some Chinese Pokemon cards uh, dating all the way back from the Sun and Moon series. Uh, this particular set here, along with three other sets, uh, actually made up uh, the English version of the Hidden Fates. Uh, the way they've done it is very strange. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But uh, inside this particular set or this particular side of the set, uh, there is a potential to pull one of the most expensive card uh, in the uh, traditional Chinese Pokemon uh, TCG world, and that is the Lily uh, Secret Rare Full Art. Now, in Japanese, this particular card was a promo card, and you can only obtain this card through the uh, expanded format battle uh, in uh, different Pokemon stores in Japan. But in traditional Chinese, uh, this card is pullable from uh, this particular set. Now, just to give you some context, uh, in Japanese, uh, this card in raw version, uh, last time I checked, is roughly around 1 million yen which is around 7,000 uh, USD uh, to get this card graded and get a PSA 10 the value goes 10 times uh, because it, it's uh, selling for around 7 million to even 8 million yen in some instances which is equivalent to uh, 50 to 56 thousand dollar USD of course the traditional Chinese card is not as expensive uh, but uh, if we do get a PSA 10 uh, it will sell for around 350 thousand yen which is around two and a half thousand US dollars so we're hoping that we'll be able to pull a raw card out of these two box uh, if we do we're going to send it straight to grading and hopefully get that PSA 10 with that said without further ado let's go into our openings for today and let's see uh, if we can pull this magnificent Lily secret rare full art let's go all right uh, first box here sliding this in the middle uh, I uh, so I went on a business trip and I was able to, uh, in that particular country, I was able to secure a lot of boxes for these. So uh, to give you guys some context, maybe uh, to let you know what the actual cart looks like, we did actually pull one uh, and this is what the cart looks like. Uh, this is the uh, evening or sunset lily. Uh, very, very, very beautiful cart. And I think as a... Um, a uh, raw card price is is still rising. Uh, this particular card uh, as a raw price, mm -hmm. I think it's going for around uh, around one thousand uh, give or take in USD. And then, uh, like I said, uh, if graded PSA ten, uh, it did sell for around three hundred fifty thousand uh, yen, which is roughly around two and a half thousand uh, there. So very very excited to see whether or not we can pull uh pull it here um so the fact that we pull one already i was pretty happy uh but obviously i uh, can never be uh satisfied i guess <laughs> so that's why we're going for it uh, we're kind of opening up the remaining boxes uh, and trust me we opened quite a lot uh, i think uh uh, close to around 20 boxes here uh, as we get a greninja gx here uh there so we might just put the Greninja GX here just for show there so I mean the beauty of these uh boxes that you are guaranteed uh you are guaranteed a uh SR hit oh sorry SSR hit uh which is the shiny Pokemon yeah so you could imagine uh, I could, I've gotten quite a lot of uh, <laughs> the uh the the shiny GXs uh, uh already but our aim and our goal is to hopefully uh, get the Lily uh, cut there, uh, which is quite surprising because uh, in uh, this, you know, I was started didn't think this cut was going to be blowing up the way it did, but it has. And, you know, I can remember, and this is kind of the conversation we kind of have all the time is that uh, I can remember uh, when I was kind of coming back into Pokemon in 2000. 19 or even maybe 2000 late 2018 um and then you know there was a there was a path uh, where you kind of either uh you know go back and just collect pokemon or you kind of go back and come in and you know try a different angle and i uh, i was at a crossroad and i was 
really wanting to uh, collect China cards uh, because I thought all the uh, Sun and Moon China cards were really, really cool and really nice looking. Uh, and then I wanted to do that. And I thought, well, you know what? Pokemon, the name itself is about Pokemon. So why am I collecting trainers? So I decided that we didn't do it. And if you look back on some of our really early videos, we kind of uh, went all in uh, in terms of uh, seal packs and in terms of Charizard cards, of course. Uh, never really was involved in um, in these trainer cards. So uh, now, obviously, look back at it. We kind of bite ourselves because I think at one stage, uh, these some of these Lily cards cost. Uh, and next to nothing and i think you know a lot of people have already made videos on these and probably won't harp it on uh and you know uh, the cut off should off uh question always going to be limbering but it's just interesting to see how uh the landscape uh then the the collection side of things of these uh, you know the card itself it is you know quite nice it is quite beautiful and i again kicking myself uh, a little bit here when I was coming back into uh, Pokemon and not to at least buy, you know, a couple uh, just to have it there. Uh, I think the, the part of the reason and uh, I think part of the reason was I didn't play Sun and Moon. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I haven't even like up until now, I still haven't played Sun and Moon. Uh, so I think I'm a little bit disconnected i would say uh to the lily character uh, not just not knowing her well and didn't know her purpose and 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 whatnot um yeah so i was actually yeah really disconnected uh and then so for me a lot of the sun and moon characters didn't re really mean anything compared to you know some of the favorite like you know erica sabrina misty and so forth and so forth so long story short uh we didn't buy any lily card and look where it is now uh, as we get a prism card here and then uh, the fire flint here so the part of the other reason as well i think we're kind of opening up uh this is kind of beneficial to open up uh, because the uh in this part of the world um so for the charizard v max uh from the collection box uh, if you guys know about that card uh, in this part of the world is going to be a promo and it's going to be uh obtainable uh if you win uh the expanded format uh so that's where these cards are i guess coming back into play now a little bit uh and uh, so these i guess these kind of opening won't go wasted as to speak uh but uh, you'll be much better if we can pull the uh, the lily just to show you guys uh, the excitement there and then of course the uh, baby shiny there with the uh, with the frog um, so I think each box uh, each box you get at least one or two of these baby shiny and then you are guaranteed a uh, the shiny GX there the Grand Ninja uh, pre-evolution there so here we go. All right, come on. Oh, we get a Rayquaza here. That's not a bad shot here, getting the Rayquaza. Uh, and then obviously nothing there. So we're actually missing some sleeves. We might actually get some sleeve first. All right, here we go. Uh, getting the Rayquaza. Uh, it would be amazing because uh, the, I think you can still, if you pull the, uh, the SSR already, which is a shiny one. Uh, you can still have a chance uh, to pull the character card. So that's why we're going to continuing on. And I think we are supposed to have one more uh, hit here. So uh, this is the Jirachi. The Rick Jirachi is a very, very good card. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, you'll get us some a bit of money back. I think it's worth about $10 uh, Hong Kong dollars, which is a uh, dollar something there. So uh, we'll put that aside. Continuing on, we have, we obviously still have, like I said, still have one hit here, uh, a slow king, uh, and then the, uh, one of the oaks. Uh, so uh, it will be exciting uh, if we can pull this lily card there. So let us know in the comments, uh, you know, what your thoughts are in terms of uh, these these particular craze uh because it has been pretty crazy in terms of uh these pokemon card prices um as you know 
um you know it's it's not the pokemon in terms of the price that are rising is all these trainer cards and then recently as well i've seen uh, videos talking about the the cards in team up uh, are going off as well the the ladias and the ladios uh, I actually have one, but it's in the PSA 9. Oh no! Oh! We got a Guzma here, no! No! Alright, uh, so in this particular side of the box, uh, there is only true full art trainer card. And one is obviously that Lily card. The other one is this one. It's the Guzma. Uh, sorry. Um. Oh dear. So we got the Guzma. Uh, Guzma, in fact, is a very, very useful card in the game um, because it's uh, boss's order uh, and then you switch your Pokemon onto the field as well. So it's actually really good. Uh, but it's just that it's not what we wanted. It's not what we wanted. All right, I'm just going to try to speed through this uh, because we do still have one hit here. Uh, and then, and then we will open the other box as well because um i mean this is if we put this guzma i mean it's that we already have our chance and might not uh well definitely won't be pulling the lily in in the rest of the box unless this is a mega error box here uh, we are probably not going to see uh lily here so you can see uh, some of the uh, other cards there we've got three more packs left let's go through it very very quickly and no we're still uh we're still not seeing our uh, our final baby shiny so sometimes you do get one sometimes you don't uh that's the uh that's that's the problem with it here do we have it here no we don't and then i'm just gonna do this last one and then sort the cards out a little bit i have cards uh piling off yet there it is, our last one here, our baby shiny here. So that's it for our first box. Uh, I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and go, and then go into our second box. Seconds later. All right, here we go, box number two here. So we did get a good start uh, with because we did get a trainer card, a Guzma. Uh, it's just the other one. So I mean, uh, it's obviously not a guarantee you'll get one in each box. So <laughs> uh, we didn't get one. So I'm hoping this box here. Uh, we'll be able to get the other one. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get the other one uh, in this particular box. So here we go again. Uh, I've been opening up so many of these. Uh, it's become to the point where it is uh, a little bit dry for me now uh, because I've been seeing these cards quite a lot as we get a Frogger Deer here. Uh, so I. For some reason, uh, I can remember Greninja, I can remember Frogadier, uh, but I can't remember uh, the first stage name. So uh, it will come to me as the video comes uh, goes on. Meanwhile, we are hoping that we can achieve the impossible and pulling the Guzma uh, in this card. And I think, uh, you know, coming through the next couple of videos we get a Charizard here a couple of videos uh, you probably uh, should expect a little bit more Chinese Pokemon cards opening uh, because uh, like I said we went to Taiwan uh, for a business trip and then uh, uh, towards the end of the trip obviously got some uh, free time and was able to uh, go and do some uh, shopping there and able to pick up quite a lot of uh, old school I wouldn't say old school but like just big era cards uh, so we can uh, kind of revisit them um, because in terms of English, in terms of uh, Japanese, they are crazy expensive and don't expect us to be able to afford uh, to open them uh, on our channel. Uh, but these Chinese ones are still relatively uh, okay. And then I guess uh, this will be a good segue for those who missed out on sun and moon cards and, and wanted to see what they are all about um they can uh, i mean like i always say uh, the art on these cards are exactly the same uh, there's no differences uh, there is uh, no special <laughs> illustration uh for these set they are all the same um so it just the uh, obviously the languages is different and the price is very different right so the price uh 
for me is uh, is a big one big ticket item there uh, so and that's why we uh, were able to afford these and to open it and uh, trip down memory lane on sun and moon stuff i mean uh, i got back into it when i think um tag team all star uh, just came out uh, so this is just around the uh, coming into the new uh, sword and shield era so great times uh, where pokemon stuff was very very still very very affordable now different story right so can't complain uh, because you know as a collector uh, you you kind of see the value of uh, some of your collection goes up it's obviously all good uh, so can't complain uh, as we get a uh, the electric mountain here. I don't know actually the the uh, the English name for this, uh, but very, again, very very good card here uh, in the expanded format uh, because it allows you to minus one electric energy uh, to attack. So not a bad card to have. All right, but we are. Uh, even though these are the good cards, we are looking for. We are looking for the lily. Hopefully, I'll be able to put here a energy there. Marwak and a judge. Okay. All right. So I can't believe we pulled a Guzma, but I'm hoping. Hoping, just hoping, and a sweet coon, uh, and then the another the professor, uh, Professor Oak from the Alonan region. All right, come on, Magnemite, Greninja, and then uh, I think that's the. Uh, uh, Wakeman Crush? Is it Crush? That's his name. Uh, one of the trainer. Another Prism card. We've got uh, the tri Triple Energy here. And I mean, I'm, to tell you the honest truth, I've opened so many of these and I still can't really get the patterns. Like sometimes in some packs you get True Prism. I have packs where I had uh, two GX, shiny GXs as well. Uh, but oof, only, only one lily uh to show for at the moment so i would have been delighted uh if we can pull uh, another lily uh to show for and it's interesting as well because uh as we get the uh katana here i think that's the katana uh these are obviously being uh this is ac 2 b so there's ac 2 a ac 2 a is not so popular at the moment uh but still people are getting into it ac 2 a has the chance to pull the sabrina uh and the Asalola as well which is equally in terms of pricing wise is also going up as well but i think pe people are more focusing on lily uh this put in this particular lily cut as well because uh it is uh, obviously harder to obtain uh, in Japanese uh, you have to be in uh, those kind of tournaments and then you actually have to win uh, those kind of tournaments uh, to get it whereas obviously the, the the Chinese version is in a pack and that's why I think people are going uh, chasing it uh, as we get a blaziken here uh, so Basically, when you buy these, you can't buy one side. You have to buy A and B together. You can't just go, oh, I just want side B uh, because uh, the store owner said not a lot of people will be buying side A uh, if uh, if we give them that choice. Uh, so I was unfortunately was forced to buy a lot of uh, side A as well. All right, we've got the side C here. Uh, Okay, we've got the Zacrum. All right, we pull. We're pulling a lot of the GX card. Our shiny GX uh, hasn't come out yet. Uh, nor does. Hopefully, we have a Lily here. No, no, we've got a Magnetron. I think that's a Magnetron, right? Uh, Magneton, Magnetron. Okay, all right. The last few card. Hopefully, we are gonna get some last pack magic here. Nope, and Polion. 
a fisherman. All right, come on. Can we do it? Can we do this? Electric energy. This is the GX shiny. As we get another rate razor here. Wow. That's, uh, I mean, certainly can't complain getting back to back Ray Quasi hits. Uh, so I'm going to pull up the sleeves here. I uh, almost feel bad for the uh, Katana here because we didn't sleeve it up, but we've got back to back Ray Quasi hit, uh, which is great. Now we've got four packs left. I'm going to open it, finish it. Hopefully, we do pull the Lily here. Come on. No, no, you can kind of tell sometimes that whether it's the, I mean, I've, maybe because I've been opening up so many of these now, uh, I can kind of tell what the bothering is. Uh, water energy, no, 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 no. All right, we've got two more packs, two more chances. Here we go. Come on. No, that doesn't look like another Empoleon, a steel Empoleon. All right, we're on to our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic uh, to secure one Lily card here? All right. Here we go. Metal, energy, and then a Typhlosion to end. Unfortunately, we didn't get our Lily card. Uh, we did get two Rayquaza cards. Uh, and then we did get a Guzma as well. So I guess uh, there is a small win out of this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular uh, opening, uh, this particular video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. Uh, and also, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe. And then after this, ring the bell for the latest videos and updates. We do have two more boxes, uh, which we were going to open. Uh, and then we're probably going to do it after this as well um just in case we pull the lily we'll have to obviously send it off to psa and we wanted to do it in one go uh, so make sure to stay tuned we will be back with two more boxes to see where we can uh if we can pull the most or one of the most expensive uh, chinese uh, pokemon tcg card the lily secret rare full art uh, if you are opening up some other products today as well uh, i'm hoping to channel some luck to you because may the god of pools be with you Always.